Hello everybody! So I am back with the ROG5 ITX. So on my last video I showed it was broken. So it doesn't work with the barrel jack. Uh, but now I've tried with an old PSU, ATX PSU and this works. Uh, so I also tried with an old PSU first. But that old PSU was broken. Uh, this one comes out of my old PC. So this one for sure works so then i bought this this was 30 euro i thought it was the correct one it uh, i just read the title it said atx power supply uh, i think this one is 90 watts uh, but it doesn't fit because this is 20 pins and i need 24 pins so that was 30 euro. I'm gonna have to send that back. Then I bought this one. So this is the same 24 pins. So this fits on there, but it doesn't work. So this is to power with the barrel jack. So uh, it doesn't work. I don't know what's the problem. Nothing happens when I plug this in. Uh, that's a bit of a shame because I bought my case for it. Uh, I wanted to put this in the case I can drill a hole and have that stick out and then plug in my barrel jack and power everything like that that would have been awesome but now yeah I will have to stay with this PSU I will have to turn off this uh, fan because the fan makes too much noise and uh, I don't want a fan in my room and this has to live in my room so uh, I do not want a fan here so let's turn it on it's good there is a button on this psu uh, because there were no buttons on uh, the board and from the moment the power is on the board is on so it you don't have to turn it on first it just turns on from the moment the power is on so now i have to check my capture device Come on you, okay, my capture device is on, so here we are. So this is my ultimate RK3588 desktop uh, image. So this is Arm Jami with the legacy kernel, so you name A, so kernel 5.10.160. So this is the old kernel, this still works, but uh, I want a later kernel, but everything works here. So that's why I installed it like this, but so everything works here. We have got Chromium that's accelerated so we can watch DRM content. So VRT. So this is the news, this is the ORM, one thing it doesn't save my audio. Mikey, ik heb een flesje Wallonië en ik vind het heel belangrijk in België dat je de, de twee talen mag inderdaad. Intussen. And YouTube, so it can play 4K video files, fine. So Nico D. Hello everybody, I am Nico D. So today I am going to assemble my ROG5 ITX. So I bought a case for it. It is a pretty nice case. It is pretty big, a bit bigger than I expected, but well, I have room in my case. So uh, I bought this, I bought a fan for it. I hope it will be enough to use just the heatsink without the fan. I don't want to use a fan on it, so a back plate for the fan. Of course I've got the ROG5 ITX and I've got... So that works, about 50% CPU usage for a 4K video file. 
So uh, I've got tons of gaming apps installed. So I've got RetroPie with thousands of games. Let me take my controller. Okay, so Game Boy games, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Master System, Mega Drive, Nintendo 64, NES, PlayStation, Sega 32, Sega CD, Super Nintendo, so tons of games, let's play Master System Afterburner. So that works, so I, I have so many games. So the next thing I want is of course having a more modern kernel. So now I'm using kernel 5.10. So uh, I want a more modern kernel. So 6.1 I think is. Now the vendor kernel is 6.1. I want to switch to that, it has got the Panther driver, this is using the Pan Frost driver, but everything works here. So the next thing I will look for is uh, to go to the 6.1 kernel. Not everything works there yet, but we can make it work. And uh, then the next thing I want is uh, Go to Noble, but for Noble we still have some problems, so the DRM doesn't work in Noble and I can't get Wine64 to work, so Wine is installed here, I can play uh, all tons of games, so let me show you some games, home games, so these are some of the games that I play on here. So let's play GTA 3. So, oh, I have something not installed. Sudo app install. No, no, Nautilus. Nautilus. Extension. Nautilus. Extension. Gnome. Terminal. Okay, so CD games, so CD GTA, GTA three, uh, books. 64 dot app app run and here we are in Grand, Grand Theft Auto 3 well, I'm not gonna play it but as you see it works fine so I can play thousands of games, so Windows games, this was a Linux game, but I can also play Windows games, here this is Linux. Um, one Windows game, Postal 2 is Windows, System, Postal 2. System so wine postal postal two uh, 
No. Wine, wine, coffee. So I have to change my display resolution to get this normal, but as you see this also works. So Windows games, so what have oh that is a problem I sometimes have when I leave a game oh my mouse sometimes stops working. That is one small issue. So I've got Windows games. I also have got PPSSPP. I haven't used it yet. So let's here. So here are all my games. I've got a ton more, but I still have to install them or copy them. Skip buffer effects, else it doesn't run well. Alright son, just remember, the smart thing to this is to break with a straight line, then turn, then hit the gas. So that's what I've got. So now the next thing I will do is uh, look to improve things. So uh, to go to kernel 6.1, there are a few problems that I need to fix for 6.1, but it isn't that much. Yeah, that will be it. So 6.10, so mainline for it will not be directly. So let me show you. So I've got the 8 gigabytes version, too bad. I really wanted the 16 gigabyte version for desktop tasks. Uh, 8 gigs is more than enough for uh, super NAS. So I will, now I have one SATA. I have got three SATA ports left. So that is awesome. My NAS has got two SATA SSDs, so I can add one more. So that is an upgrade and I can also buy another uh, NVMe from one terabyte or two terabytes for a lot for a lot more storage. So I am very happy that it works. Too bad that I have to use this PSU. I've looked for other PSUs, but there are none that fits in that case. 
And uh, I already spent 80 euro on these thingies and none of them work. So if anyone knows why this doesn't work, please let me know right now because I'm sending them back uh, on Monday. Yeah. So I'm happy that the ITX still works. Uh, it isn't my fault. It isn't me who broke it. It's just the barrel jack circuits that broke. I don't know what exactly that broke. There's nothing to see on it. But well, so that will be it for today. Um, next will be a review video about this probably. I will first have to find out how all the other kernels are because I've been on a traveling so much uh, the last months I am not so aware of all the new things so that's gonna be nice seeing some new things so happy it works so thank you all for watching please like this video subscribe to my channel see you later bye